why should I clutter up my mind with all this general knowledge to answer your questions when I have men who can literally supply the knowledge that I required. Now, if you have not heard about the statement itself, chances are you have not heard about the story by Henry Ford, who is the founder of Ford Motor. Back in the time, there was an attorney who claims that Mr. Henry Ford is just an ignorant pacific. He then answers a lot of general questions and Mr. Henry Ford is not able to answer the questions. And that is the time Mr. Henry Ford said, why should I even clutter up my mind with all this general knowledge just to answer your questions? When I have men who can literally supply me with any answer that I want. This story goes to tell you that you don't need to know it all in order to be successful. And in this video, I will be sharing with you my journey and how do I started a video editing company without knowing anything about video editing at all. Now you see back in the time when my wife Jocelyn and I decided to start this video editing company named The Editopia. I have zero knowledge, zero experience and zero understanding about the entire industry. And people around us are judging us. You know, some of them say that, oh my God, you don't even know anything about the industry. How are you going to make it? And some of them were saying, without knowing the terms and how it works, you're going to fail miserably. I do believe that we need to know um, things or two in order to keep the business running. But that's not the key element that I personally think is a must to keep this business survive. Even though there's a lot of people who don't look good on us or our business, but we still keep it running. We still try our best to, you know, bring the business to the next level. We started it probably about eight months now and we are almost hitting a 100k milestone. So to me personally and to my wife is considering a very big achievement for both of us and of course for the company. So really, how do I survive without knowing anything at all in this particular industry? And to keep it very short and simple, it has everything to do with owning a team that knows what exactly you are supposed to know. Now I know the moment I say this, some of you might come up with questions like, oh, I, I'm just starting out. How do I get a team? No one wants to be in a team with me. And how, do, where do I get all these team members? When we first started out, we started everything by using a freelancer website called Upwork. So some of you might heard of that. Some of you might have not heard about that. So basically Upwork is a platform where it gathers clients, which is the buyer and also the freelancer who are the service provider. So by just clicking on the Upwork itself and you type video editor, they are like tons and tons of lists. Of course, you are going to evaluate them in terms of their video editing skill, video editing knowledge and their experience and so on. So to see whether or not their works can actually fit your expectation. And is it something that align with your core value or your expectation or your way of operating your business? So, but in this video, I'm not going to touch about all that technical stuff. If you want to know more about how do I form a team or how do I start, you know, outsourcing and all this thing, put in a comment down below. If there's a great demand about that, I will considering to do a video about that. Now, when you are trying to form your team, apart from having a good communication with them, there are a few things that you need to know and you must know in order to make sure that you hire someone who is way more knowledgeable than you. So I will break it out in detail. What are the questions that I ask and how do I ask the questions so you can make sure that you are hiring the right person. The first one is their turnaround time because in this video editing industry, it is extremely important to have a good lead time, to have a good delivery time. So if you are delivering the products after two or three months, you are probably out of the game. Okay, so this is very important. The second one, of course, price. Not trying to be cheap, but certainly you need to get someone else who has the works who can actually justify their fees. And the third one is that I will always ask for their sample because without seeing the sample, there's just no way I can know whether or not their editing style fit into my expectation or my client's expectations. And of course, I will be asking about their workflow, like basically what are the workflow, what are the steps that they will be going through. So first, I want to understand how do they work better. And of course, I want to be more knowledgeable in picking up in this industry. And the last one is the terms and condition. 
Is there any specific terms or is there any specific condition that they have which I would rather bring that up in an early conversation because if you have decided to start working with the video editor or your teammate then they bring up oh you know what Joshua I actually have these terms and this condition then it might be very troublesome right but of course all these few examples that I gave it to you is just some of the basic questions that I will be asking during an interview but pay attention to the next questions which is the highlight okay when I first starting out I always use these questions when I was interviewing with any of them to make sure that I pick up the most knowledge and experience and how the industry actually works so make sure you get a pen and a paper and start writing it out assuming that I have zero knowledge about this industry tell me how do you do what you do so that is the questions that I will certainly ask but of course I will go ahead and explain to them why do I ask these questions and this is what I say next. In order for me to hire you to be in part of my team, I need to have an educated conversation with my clients. So what do you need to know to do what you are doing now? So after asking that, you just keep your mouth shut and then you listen to what they have got to say. So you make sure you jot down every single detail that they say. Then you can easily bring that knowledge to talk to your clients when it's needed. So when you are talking to the client, you know exactly what is happening in that industry and you can use some of the key words that was being communicated very commonly in that industry. Your client would assume that you have been in this industry for years. Cool? That's the tips. Some of you was probably think or some of you might even probably put in a comment down below and say that oh you know what this doesn't work in my industry and to be honest I can't think of any industry where you can't apply this technique to learn about that industry so well when you are just starting off if you happen to know any industry that this technique doesn't apply put in the comment down below and I would love to see that until then let's make more money